Hey, what's going on everybody? DJ Cohen here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a breakdown of the 11 screenshots that we got today for Farming Simulator 22. I've already made a video showing off all the production change and things like that. So if you want to see that video first before watching this one, check that out. Link in the description. But we're going to be taking a look at these screenshots. We've got all these different productions. We've got a gas station. We have a baseball park with something very interesting hidden in that. And we've got four different vehicle screenshots as well. Maybe five from that. This is not going to be scripted. We're just going to jump right in and we're going to take a look at each one of these cold and take a look. First look, baby. Let's go. The first screenshot today is the FS22 Elm Creek Impression Baseball. Now, Elm Creek. Interesting because there's a couple different ones that have that title. So I'm going to go ahead and say possibly Elm Creek may be one of the map names. This is not confirmed, but it does say Elm Creek Wolves on here. We have Redford Park. This is the baseball park. I imagine this may be a selling point. It may just be a point of interest, but I don't know why they would show this off talking about the production chains and not be something. Giants does everything for a reason, so I think this definitely has a reason. You can see some really cool stuff with this. So you got park benches, you got some trash cans, you have water fountains, things like that, beautiful trees, trees that are actually low to the ground. You don't see stuff like this generally in Giants maps. You do on Mata maps, but not Giants maps. So definitely some new trees going on right there. I think it's really cool seeing a baseball park out here. You guys gonna go drive tractors around a baseball park? I would love to do that. Your next screenshot is the FS22 Elm Creek Impression Cornflakes Factory. Now, this says uh, Otis on here, Otis Oats, something like that. And of course it says, the impression cornflakes factory in elm creek so that leaves me to believe that this is an elm creek map probably the american map this is one of our factories this is going to be for cornflakes i imagine oats corn um possibly barley something like that maybe you would bring here maybe have them mash it up something like that maybe you bring them the actual corn product and they turn it into something crazy you could also see here that the trees are not green these are brown and red trees so we are definitely into the fall here i'm trying to take a look at any of these vehicles anything that's kind of hidden however giants have done a really good job of not hiding anything here so there is nothing around all you can see again is the trees down near the bottom you do have a fire hydrant right in the middle so maybe that's something maybe you get some water from that something like that and again it says uh otis or Oats is something like that. Regardless, that is the Corn Flakes Factory. Also, I was looking into the windows up top and I couldn't see anything. So I guess this is just gonna be one of those standard factories. Looks great. Our next one could be something and it could be nothing. This is the FS22 Elm Creek Impression gas station. I wonder what these impressions are that they've labeled these. Again, Elm Creek leading me to believe that this is the name of the map. Uh, this is, uh, what was that? Matthews 42 uh, gas, petrol, fuel, whatever you want to call it. And it is Garrison or Gary Sun. Uh, not really how we spell it here in the States, but is what it is. So welcome to Garrison's gas station and car service. So a couple things that we could take from this possibly is gas station, obviously and car service so possibly we'll be able to work on our vehicles here as well a couple things that you could see around it says we've got an atm it also looks like a real fuel station from here in the united states this doesn't look like a video game render or anything like you know and you guys know what i mean not like a real one uh this looks very real this looks like something that was just taken a picture of and somebody modeled it from real life here in the united states so i'm real cool about that I dig it. Uh, you got fuel. Looks like you also have diesel there as well. Got a couple, uh, um, I'm not exactly sure what that'd be, possibly air compressors, some trash cans, things like that. I mean, I've probably got a hundred of these gas stations within, you know, what, 50 miles or 100 miles of my, my house that I live in now. This is very, very very popular styling right here. I love this. This is really cool. It's going to add to the immersion of the map for sure. Something we talked about a lot in the production chains video is Morgan's Bakery Home Goods. Now, again, this is something that I'm not sure if we're going to be able to go in or not. And I think you can see from the windows. Look at the windows in the house. Looks like each one's very, very different and not 3D. Doesn't look very 3D to me. If they are 3D, uh, they are 
they're they're very shallow to say the least a couple things that we could see down at the bottom of course you can see all of the bread around and you could see a couple uh pallets of bread as well outside we even have one pallet on the back of the uh, john deere gator so that tells me hey john deere gator is going to be in the next one so again fall through here we've got all that i mean it's <laughs> It just looks great. Another really neat uh, feature that I'm seeing is the textures on the ground. We've seen these over the past couple screenshots, but you could see that the grass molds very well into uh, what would be the gravel and what molds into the concrete, things like that. Also, take a look at the fence going across the front. This is not just a standard fence that's been thrown together or a wall. This is very well done. This looks fantastic. In game and in real life, I'm sure this is not easy to do. You've got brick or maybe brick, stone, some type of concrete possibly with some shrubbery in the middle. Looks fantastic. I am all over this. As far as anything else that we could see from this, really not a whole lot. Again, tons of foliage. We have a chain link fence around the house. There's really nothing more to it. Next is the thumbnail from the production chain video this morning. This is the production grain mill. Um, Golden Field grain mill. There you go. I can't really see what's going on with our uh, the, the pallets right here. What is this? Wheat flour, I think it says. I believe that says wheat flour. I'm trying to zoom in. Uh, I'm not zooming in very likely in the video. I'm just looking at these by myself and yeah this is definitely wheat flour is what that says you can see we have our mahindra coming back from farm sim 17 so we've got the or 17 from farm sim 19 so we're gonna have that in farming simulator 22 as well uh we do have a few other things around but i think for the most part this building is decorative i don't think we're gonna see a lot of functionality with the productions and things like that these uh factories if you want to call them that i don't think we're going to see a lot of functionality with the buildings i think that just the buildings are like placeholders for what actually happens there so i imagine with this we take them wheat and in return we get wheat flour now this is our first one where we see a person where we see a gameplay player and i think it might be said that the gameplay player we've got a different shirt uh it is a female and brown hair uh, from that, really not a whole lot else that we could see. Hopefully, the character animations are as good as they were in Farm Sim 19. I was very happy with them, so hopefully that doesn't change too much. Two more normal screenshots. This one of Natural Oils, also called the FS22 Production Oil Factory. Now, with this one, I imagine we're probably going to be doing canola oil, things like that. I can't sunflower oil maybe something like that i can't really think of anything else that would be like oil wise this is about the only things i could think of actually i use canola oil with cooking all the time to get another one with vehicles in it where i don't know if we get any screenshots or or any looks at any vehicles coming with the game probably not i don't think we are here and again i think this is just going to be mainly a placeholder I will say, down at the bottom right-hand corner, you can see a grating that is up. I imagine that is probably where we're going to be bringing the sunflowers, um, possibly the canola. We're probably going to be depositing it there and then picking up the uh, canola oil or sunflower oil palette, something similar to that. Again, it could maybe not that, but we'll definitely see something similar to that. Again, looking in the windows, you can't see anything from there. A beautiful sky, it is green, so this is either spring or summer somewhere around there. Maybe we've got areas in between spring and summer because in game right now, you guys know it just kind of changes every third of a season. So there is some in between there, but it's kind of obvious when it goes from spring to summer. So hopefully we mesh those together. There were some questions. Yes, the seasons can be turned off. You don't have to play with it if you don't want to. Our last screenshot before we get into the new vehicles, and this is a zoomed in picture inside of where we were. And yes, we are brought to Sunflower Oil. That is what we're seeing right here. This picture is titled FS22 Production Sunflower Oil. So we've got that. It says natural oils. Uh, again, you could see the Mahindra right here. Looking around, there really isn't too much more. It looks like these productions are going to be more in pallets. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to load these liquids. Maybe we've got, uh, you know, different trailers or tanks, things like that we can take around. I hope so, because I really do not like taking stuff around in pallets. 
<laughs> Possibly. I really, really hope so. These don't look very big at all. Uh, a couple of the other palettes that we've seen were quite big. These, these are a little bit shorter than you would expect. So this may be quite heavy with the way they're sitting right now. Otherwise, there's really nothing different from this screenshot versus the previous one. All right, making our way into some vehicle screenshots. And the first one is the Case IH 340 AFS Connect Magnum. Yeah, and you can see a Case Baylor to match in the background as well. I can't really see the number on that too well, but at least we know we are getting one of those. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Looks like the 436, the Case IH LB 436 is going to be the number for this. So that is great to see. You can see grain bins in behind you. This is called just vehicle case. Um, you could see from the wheels, tires, and the paint, the shine, the gleam. Uh, these vehicles really stand out. Some almost stand out a little bit, maybe too much from the background. Um, another thing that you can see here is this is an American style case IH. You can see the folding down uh, caution warning lights there. Hopefully console players will be able to utilize the four way flasher function to make these work. I really, really hope so. Please, 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 please. Um, as something else we could see, we've got GPS on here. I don't know if that's going to be implemented. Probably not. Don't get excited about that, but we do have a GPS on the top of this. As far as everything else, like I said, we've got shine. The tires look like real tires. They don't just, you know, you know their tires. These actually look like tires. I was looking for tire wear or anything like that, but I don't see any. Obviously, we could see straight through the grill. We were expecting that. We've been able to do that for the past game or two. So we have that. We do have a three-point hitch on here as well. Uh, some of you may like that. Some of you may not like that. Possibly this could be configured to not have a three-point hitch. Personally, I would rather have a three-point hitch on the front of everything, including pickup trucks. That's just me. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful machine right here. I'm real excited about this. Next up, we have another one that I'm real excited about. This is the Fent. And I believe it is the Fent 900 as well. Yeah, the Fent 930 Vario. So we know we've got that. I don't know if this is in a European setting or not. It does not have European warning signs on the back. So this could possibly be an American version. We do have the... Uh, Agco looks to be the 650 kilogram front weight. This is a newer model tractor as well. We do have some Trelleborg tires on here. It is cultivating, I believe. So that is good to see. Otherwise, there's not a whole lot else to this. Um, looking in the background, they are... To, okay, so this might be something. Take a look at this. So we've got strips in the back. Look at the background. Look at the right-hand side of the photo. Look at the kind of left middle-ish of the photo. These have been done in strips. These have not been done kind of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Makes me wonder, are the workers going to be actually smart and do fields the proper way, or are they just going to go back and forth? Only time will tell. Our next to last screenshot for you guys today is going to be the Massey Ferguson 8S205, it looks like. And we're going to have a Pottinger loading wagon in the back, picking up grass. We have a beautiful landscape around behind. Uh, again, this is carrying very likely an Agco weight. Can't see how much it weighs. We do have that front three point on there as well, running Trelleborg tires. And it looks like Michelin tires on the Pottinger in the back. That could be different, but that does look like that. Also, you can see from the ground here, a lot different from the cut grass texture that we have in game already. Uh, that grass is kind of blending in well, but it has been wind road and it does look very, very good. Again, we have GPS on here, just like the previous tractors. Uh, the tree in the back looks pretty good as well. So very excited about that. Flowers are beautiful. It's, you know, and this is another thing. You could see the sun shining off of this tractor. It is a beautiful machine, a beautiful scenery. <sighs> I can't wait to play Farm Sim 22, man. And your last screenshot for us today is going to be of the Zader. This is the Zader Crystal 170 HD. Yeah, absolutely beautiful tractor, by the way. Uh, a little bit smaller tractor as well. So I know a lot of you guys are going to be excited about that. Looks like we have a brand new weight on the front as well. I'm not familiar with that, that style at all. And it looks like we've got something different. Maybe a... Uh, Chrome or uh, doing something like that. I can't see exactly what the uh, windrow is on the back of this, but that is definitely something different than we have in game right now. So now yeah, we can say that. 
the sky absolutely beautiful so we do have a really nice sky it's kind of looks like this picture and the previous massey ferguson picture we're taking about the same time they both got a very similar sky we've got a very similar scenery around the outside tractor's looking great again i love the way the tires are popping you got a little bit extra kind of looks like almost wear like dirt but some wear to the front right hand tire as where the rear tire doesn't have that quite interesting i'm excited to see how that translates uh around we do have a different looking player in there uh, we've got a long sleeve shirt so all of our players today all of the uh workers or whatever you want to call them um the humans inside the tractors they have all looked different so we know we've got more customization coming we don't know how in depth that customization is but at least we know we've got some and you know what i'll take a little bit more than what we have is great and that is going to be it that is all 11 screenshots that we got brand new today i was going to include these with the video that we've already released but i wanted to do something a little bit different uh unscripted just kind of off the cuff taking a look at these for the first time with you guys if you enjoyed this one make sure you drop a like on it get subscribed if you are new so that you don't miss anything that we're doing with farming simulator 22 content i was saying to myself you know what it seems like we should really be getting farm sim 22 stuff and all of a sudden giants jump in and say hey check this out oh yeah all being said i hope you have a great awesome wonderful rest of your day we'll see you later peace